And then she walks in and I said, that's no turkey, that's my shoe. Hey guys, Chris here with 9to5Escape. Today I'm excited to tell you we're gonna be putting on the Toyota Heritage Grill, also known as the TRD Pro Grill. So let's get into it. So let's get this puppy out of the box. I did opt for the OEM Toyota grill. Spent a little bit more money on it, but hey, I thought it was worth it. Got some instructions. The Toyota garnish itself. I lied, this is the grill. So this is the top portion of the grill just because um, it's replacing the emblem on here. So it is a two piece set. So be sure to be getting both pieces when you're making your purchase. All right. Now this should be the garnish piece. And when you get the OEM Toyota Heritage Grill, it does come with the letters pre-installed on there. So there's no risk in putting those in crooked or lopsided in any way. So it's a one-stop shop. So the first step to do is to take off this radiator cover. Um, there are several clips that you need to take off. Be sure not to pry them up. I've seen a lot of videos that do that. It's very cringeworthy. You're just going to push in the middle and it kind of releases it. And then you could just take it off with your fingers. Pretty simple. Ba, ba. There's a lot of them, so keep track of them. It's almost like popping bubble wrap. Should be all of them. You just take it off, just like that. So the next step is to take off two more clips and one 10 millimeter bolt, so get that ratchet ready. These you gotta pry off and just pull up. Boom. The so next part is you're going to be ripping off this top portion of the grill. If there's any place to break it during this whole process, this is it, so be careful. I'm just get to kind of wiggle it off in one shot. Record time. Please have nothing be broken. Okay. Maybe do it a little, with a little bit more grace than I did. I just ripped it off in one pull. Too strong, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's next step. Okay, the next step is to take off, I believe there's a, ten of, a total of 10 screws on this piece, so get to unscrewing. Next step is to take off the existing grill portion with the uh, Toyota emblem from the upper portion. And there are some clips that you just want to maneuver in a way that you could just take it off pretty easy. So Just like that, it's off. Now it's time to put on the upper portion of the grill onto the upper portion here. It slides in like so. Oh. 
very nice just make sure you get those nice clicks you know okay and then you want to put on this grill bracket that just goes on right in the middle here i think then you want to put on the grill bracket portion just like so four screws for this piece All right, so I got all 10 screws back on here. So let's get the garnish onto the vehicle. Because the garnish uses 3M tape to stick onto the existing bar here, you do want to like make sure it's nice and clean just so it adheres to it pretty well. So give it a nice old cleanup job. And make sure what you're using is like a degreasing agent. You don't want any grease on there because the stickiness won't adhere to it. So next you want to um, prepare the adhesive strips. Um, you're going to be peeling off the bottom two and leaving the top ones attached. Um, you're just going to peel those up, leave them over on top of the garnish just because you're going to be positioning the garnish onto the bar and just so you could be able to wiggle around. Um, so just peel a little bit off, get some masking tape. Okay. And then peel off the bottom ones. Be kind of slow with it just because you don't want to actually rip off the adhesive. Okay. All right, so let's go position this onto the vehicle. So the instructions say you want it to be on a warm surface. Since here we live in Arizona, I don't have to worry about that. So you can just position the garnish onto the car. There are these little notches up here and they are going to be lining up to these sections here. on there pretty good so once that's on you're going to peel off the remaining strips and then apply some firm pressure So next part is to put on the top portion of the grill. It just snaps on as so. Just get to line up the clips, give it a nice nudge. Oh. Okay. Now you're gonna put on your clips. Just they just push down. Catch it, the bolt back on. Put these push-in clips back into the radiator grill. Cover. Cover.
If you guys thought this video was helpful, throw us a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for any future modifications and trips that we go on. And also be sure to check out our Instagram, Facebook, and website at 9to5escape.org. Catch you guys next time.